Hello. The purpose of the screencast is to provide ways to effectively create a student-centered, student-led mock trial that aligns with the WCPS curriculum, to scaffold the task to meet the needs of your diverse learners, and to utilize a rubric using priority standards developed either as a class or by yourself. Mock trials can either be modified from a pre-existing source or you can develop the mock trial yourself. Today, I will be showing you how to create your own mock trial utilizing a variety of primary sources. Disclaimer, I will not be creating an actual mock trial, rather providing you the supports to create your own from primary sources. To begin creating the mock trial, you will first want to access the WCPS Essential Curriculum located on the district website, which is wcpsmd.com. Once on the district website, you will need to click the link that says Employee Portal, located under the Faculty and Staff link in green. After you are in the Employee Portal, you will want to click the button or link that says Essential Curriculum. When you have reached the Essential Curriculum, you will click the appropriate link. I will be accessing the Middle School Social Studies link due to the fact that I teach at the middle level. Then you will want to pick the appropriate grade level or content you are currently teaching. For example, I teach 8th grade U.S. History 1. So I will access United States History 1 Grade 8 folder. After you're in the folder, you will want to click on the module in which you want to implement the mock trial. I will be using Module 1B, the American Revolution, to implement this trial. Once you have accessed the module, the first thing you will want to do is choose four priority standards from the standards listed under Stage 1 in the Established Goals column to the left. It's important for a task like the mock trial that you focus not only on content, but incorporate skills and process standards as well. After you've chosen your four priority standards, you can either copy them into a template for a rubric or copy them into a blank document. More information on the rubric and priority standards to follow in the following videos. Once you've chosen all of your priority standards, you will then want to begin reviewing the materials that are provided within the module. In most cases, you'll find that a module already has a mock trial or a variety of primary sources that are relevant to the topic you wish to cover during the mock trial. To review materials within the module, you will want to start in the evidence stage or stage two of the module. You might find that there's already a pre-existing mock trial within stage two. If so, please feel free to modify as needed. If there is no mock trial listed in stage two, then another helpful source would be the learning plan, which is stage three. There are also additional resources linked below that could help you when gathering primary sources. When you're searching for sources on the various links under the learning plan, be sure to account for all students and their varying Lexile levels. For example, for struggling readers, you can incorporate multiple primary images and shorter primary texts with possible vocabulary supports and a graphic organizer. This could help them organize or comprehend the information from the sources. When you've gathered all the sources that the students will use to prepare for the trial, you want to add them to a Google Doc. That way the sources can be easily shared and accessed with the students or can be printed if need be. When putting your resources together, be sure to have an equal number of sources for both sides of the case. This will allow for students to establish their arguments, rebuttals, questions, and testimonies fairly. Here is an example of a source document sheet that I have prepared. As you can see, this trial is focused around the events of the Boston Massacre. I have incorporated two primary images from two perspectives. 
three defense witness statements and three prosecution witness statements. During an actual trial, I will have additional resources, such as testimonies or images, for both sides of the case. The next step is to establish your roles and expectations during the trial, which can be found in the next video titled Establishing Roles and Expectations. Should you have any additional questions or comments, please contact your contact specialist, Ms. Kate Long, or review the additional resources provided.